try to see all this stuff before the tourists come back. tickets to see the USS Arizona today. This is during the uh, coronavirus time, so uh, we don't know, really know what's open. I'm sure it's going to be very touching um, and educational. That's what this day is all about. History here in Hawaii. Let's go. No one else is, is here. So. No. Normally it gets like 4,000 visitors a day. And it's just empty. You see like two or three people walking and that's it. So So we got the park all to ourselves. Yeah. Nice. Also have like these memorials just along the side before you actually go on the boat. Here as you see all of the submarines that were lost at sea. Um, which is which is crazy, right? Like I couldn't imagine being stuck in this little tube and then all of a sudden you're just sinking to the bottom of the ocean. Once you have your face mask on before going to the boat, you're not going to do that act. But everybody else, if you're ready, right, you walk four doors, enter the theater, exit out to your right, you'll lead you straight to the dock. Uh, definitely worth the hour. Very, um, very touching, right? Yeah. Uh, very nice m memorial. We saw some people there who actually knew uh, or had like grandparents that yeah. were that were interned there. So it was very touching. Yeah. So we're now at Iolani Palace here in Hawaii. Um, King Kalakaua has built this in the 1800s and this is the only palace here in the United States. So very important part of Hawaiian history. One thing I really like about palaces is the symmetry of it always. And then we visited many European cities and I just love seeing the palaces, the grandness of it and it's always very symmetrical. So we were out of the palace. So it was, it was interesting. Uh, they didn't want us to video, so we didn't video anything. No. We just took some nice uh, pictures. Um, it was okay, but uh, I, don't, I feel like they were yeah, they were kind of being a little bit, I don't know, I think maybe? I, I think our uh, vibe of, the, of inside the palace was somewhat rude-ish, I guess. Um, it did make for a little bit of an uncomfortable tour. Um, yeah. <laughs> Their story is quite interesting because essentially the Polynesian people had to sail across the entire Pacific. When I was in school, I never really even heard about these people yeah. who done these magnificent uh, feats. Without like, you know, 
modern equipment to navigate through the ocean like right. it's on canoes like these. Fiji, Hawaii. I'm thinking we need to take a trip to Fiji. We're so close. <laughs> Whenever I see people plan a trip to Fiji, I feel like it's always so far away. But now we're so close. lose Denny in museums because he gets so excited he just walks away stay here <laughs> I have to see what all it has to offer and I just think it's good to know something about where you live so this would be a good education center yeah. we are tired <laughs> yeah this has been a long day what do we do again Pearl Harbor <laughs> the Ilani Palace yeah so we've had an entire day of culture and an entire day of history Hope you guys liked it as much as we did. Hawaii tourism is opening back up, so we hope to see you here soon. Mm -hmm.